Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this has been your true nerd, and welcome to Chessaria the Tactical Adventure. Now, here's an interesting one. I hadn't heard anything about this game until the devs emailed me and said, Hey, we've made a chess game, but, like, we took chess and we mixed it with XCOM. Like, chess, but XCOM. I am so, so on board with this. It also looks really lovely in a slightly charming, retro, vintage sort of way. It's all a bit Warcraft 3. Anyway, the first 11 missions are basically just tutorials, just saying, Hey, you know bishops, they can only go diagonally. Ooh, that can cause a bit of trouble. I bloody hate bishops. Also, bishops aren't bishops in this game. They're sexy majors who are just called bishop. That's mildly confusing. Things seem to get a little bit more interesting around level 12, so that's where we're going to be jumping in. City of Silveran, the Royal Palace. In case you hadn't guessed from like all the fire and whatever. Yeah, the City of Silveran was at peace for centuries, then a dragon showed up and attacked them. Pretty standard fantasy fare. So the way this game basically works is it gives you a bunch of chess pieces and then sets you a specific mission. You're on an 8x8 grid as usual, except not quite a clean 8x8 grid, because there's a bunch of stuff in the way, like these here pillars, for example, which kind of livens things up a little bit. On this occasion, yeah, it's nothing but a line of eight pawns for me and a line of eight pawns for these guys. So basically, it's just saying, come up with a pawn defense, but like a pawn defense that has to work around the fact that there's bloody pillars in the way. So that's intriguing. Also, if you forget what you're actually looking at, there's little symbols there, and if you zoom right out, you actually just get the symbol, which kind of, you know, borings it down a little bit. I prefer them to be like, you know, elven warriors, if at all possible. Still, let's just start putting together a little pawn defense here and seeing what goes on. I'll be, yeah, unfortunately, of course, these things are going to get in the way a little bit. Pawns, by the way, just in case you've never played chess, uh, pawns are little guys. They can move one space, except they can move two on their first move. They can only move forward, and they can only take diagonally forward. That's the only thing they can pull off. So, what have we got going on here? Hmm. We probably want to have you going up to here. And yeah, those guys are starting to move forward just because the pillar's in the way. This lad and this lad are a lot less useful because unless they can take something, they're stuck behind the pillar. I need to get to the enemy line. The enemy's trying to get to my line. So fair enough. Let's just start moving everyone forward. And yeah, just like normal chess, obviously, I get one move. They get one move as well. So, not the perfect pawn defense here, except I kind of can go for a bit of an unconventional one, because the pillar being in the way means that, yeah, certain pieces can't really be as easily threatened as they would be normally. And all we really want, really, is, yeah, just slowly move forward here, because without any other pieces to clear the backlog, ultimately it's going to be a case of who is forced to make a move they don't really want to move first up. So if I move you to you, I could actually just do... Mm, if I trade pawns in the correct position, I might be able to just kind of provide an opening for someone else to push through. But on this occasion, that's probably not the best move, not just yet anyway. So here we go. Am I willing to... Yeah, I'm totally willing to trade pawns on this side, except... Mm, okay, if I take you and you move over here, then this guy and this guy will just be stuck against each other forever and nothing can actually happen. So, the better thing to do would be let this guy take this guy. And then, actually, we can use these two guys to force something over here on the right. That's probably the better idea in that case. So, as that's my plan, I just need to start basically killing time. So this guy can just start moving forward and start moving forward on the left in case this doesn't work out. So there's a possibility he just won't take the bait because he really wants me to actually take him. He's willing to just do a swap there. Fine, in which case, let's just slowly start pulling him up here. Okay, here's an interesting one. He's just actually exposed this lad without him actually having cover, which is... Odd, but okay, fine. I guess it is early in the game. The AI is probably not going into overdrive just yet. He's also just moved forward and... Well, actually, technically, he has just blocked this guy, and this guy is blocked by this guy, so that's probably actually the best position for him to be in to actually block up the right, so fair enough. Now, the problem is, if I just move this guy forward and he actually takes that piece, yeah, now this guy doesn't actually have cover. So, sure, now, technically, I've got the numerical advantage, but until he moves forward, yeah... If I move here, he takes him, then this guy and this guy will just be stuck facing each other. So neither of us can actually make progress. I'm one pawn up at the minute, but that doesn't count for much yet. 
Right, in which case, let's just start trying to make something happen over here, because sooner or later I can basically start forcing them to make some moves. Uh, yeah, because... Mm, actually, it's going to come down to who literally doesn't have a move left to make sooner or later, isn't it? That's interesting. Because how many more moves do I have left? I could move this guy forward just to block up these guys. At which point he's got a choice between... Yeah, if he was clever at that point, he would then move this guy forward one. I'd have no choice but to move this guy forward. He'd take that, I'd move him, and that's it. We'd be a stalemate. No one could win. If, on the other hand, I take this guy and then this guy retaliates by taking that guy, it's my turn... And then I can move this guy forward, and you'll have no choice but to move this guy forward, and then I win. So that's what I want to do then. This guy comes forward, stabs that guy. Unless, of course, this guy just starts moving and doesn't take the piece. No! He does the stupidest move going and just basically gives up. So, now as a result, I've won. Uh, admittedly, I think I'd won anyway, but never mind, he's just made it a bit easier for me. So now, basically, I can just move these lads forward... Everyone else is stuck. He's got no choice but to move this guy to here. At this point, he literally doesn't have any legitimate moves anymore, so I guess he might have to forfeit after this turn, even if I hadn't got up there. Marvellous, Captain Horson says. Nice work. Uh, by the way, yeah, the knight's not a knight. The knight is just a bloke called Captain Horson who's really good at jumping. That's all so weird. So, now we just move forward deeper into the palace, and... Aha! Actual flipping pieces. Marvellous. So Captain Horson yells, We're surrounded! Protect the sages! Together they can cast a magic shield capable of repelling the dragon. Yeah, there's a dragon. He's a dick. In case he just flies over the board laughing at you. So, for 15 turns, I need to keep three of these four sages, the guys in yellow, alive. They can't move or do anything. We've also got, yeah, a bunch of actual pieces here. This guy here is a pawn. This guy here is a castle. This person here is Captain Horson for some baffling reason. And this person here is our queen. And over there, our bishop. I hate bishops so much. These guys, meanwhile, I think are all kings, which doesn't really make sense. But yeah, basically, they can just move one move in any direction. So it shouldn't be too difficult to finish them off. But I imagine the dragon will be flying over and kind of dropping off more at some point. Yes. So what coverage have we got? Whichever way this guy moves next, the queen's got a hit on him. So I may as well have Captain Horson take out this guy. Yeah, that's Captain Horson, by the way. He's a bit of a bloody show off. So you're going to come over. Hang on. Did you just... Ah, you just moved over there. Fine. The pawn, by the way, is currently completely bloody useless. Because, yeah, because this thing's in his way, literally the only way he can move is if something happens to end up here that he can take. So, pretty much he's not contributing at this exact moment in time. Now, what do we need to be careful of? Because if this guy moves to here at that point, then he can threaten multiple sages. So, we've got to be careful of that. And the bishop can't really provide much cover against that possibility. Probably it's best just to start moving you back into this position. And then next turn you could take out that person if need be. Fine, so you're moving over there. No real problem there. Let's just clear out the south Open of the board quickly. Eyes. So the queen can just do that. You can turn off the animations if you want. In fact, I probably will momentarily because they are a little bit on the slow side to be honest. Now, technically, I could get my queen up to the north as well, just by moving her diagonally through this pass, but... Hmm. Probably better to actually get my knight to a position. My knight's in a bit of a bad position right now. Now, what's your plan exactly? You're going to move... You're moving further away from the sages. Well, that just flipping works for me. And there we are, just playing for time with that last one. The magical shield is... Oh, apparently it's still unstable. Well, that's unfortunate. And have we finally made it to the throne room? I think we have. There's the king. And the mission here, as far as I can tell, is just trying to teach you... Hey, did you actually know that you can move diagonally with a queen? Yeah. Yeah, I did. It's fine, game. Chill out. What is this magic? Oh, that's the dragon, by the way. I will destroy you. No, you won't. We just set up a magic shield, especially so you couldn't do that. Yes, indeed, the dragon's naffed off to the north. We lost sight of him over the great forest of Cressaria. I'm guessing we're heading there for World 2 then. Yes, indeed, the forest of Chessaria. Marvellous. So, yeah, basically, it's just chess, but with some pretty boards and with some stuff cluttering up the boards to make movement a little bit more unexpected, perhaps. And next up, we've got something a little bit more interesting. All of a sudden, 
Okay, so the enemy, at least in the forest equivalent of the knight, is the golems, and there's... There's a lot of them. And also, I've got... Literally no way of saving this guy, because he physically can't move. Uh, fine. So, I may as well take out you as a starting point. One of you is going to come over here, but then I can't actually avenge you. Sorry, I can't because... Ooh. Right, you actually ceased to exist after you took that guy, which isn't really how chess works, but okay. And the problem is... How exactly am I going to beat all these knights with one knight when obviously I can't move into a taking position without exposing myself exactly the same way? Ah! It's because I'm not trying to win, I'm just trying to get over to the blue. Uh, so this is a safe spot to start off with that. What are you planning to do? You're planning to come in my direction, understandably. Uh, okay, if I move to here, then I'm safe and then I can move to here the following turn. And there's nothing anyone can do to me. Because I think we're just basically running because there's too many of them. And fair enough too. Get down over here. Lovely. Hopefully that's job done. Yes indeed. And apparently that was perfect despite the dead pawn. So, next challenge. Now I'm taking on that is three pawns and three knights. But my mission is to actually attack these four spaces at the back. I've just got to break free the forest fairies. Got in for that. Same team as I've had before. Okay. Shouldn't be anything too bad. If I can literally just get my castle round the back, he can just sweep along all of these guys. Yeah, let's just actually get my castle over here and start vaguely shoving into these lads if we can. You're moving over here. You're currently covered by you. Fine. I could just immediately sacrifice a bishop. In all fairness, a bishop to take a... Pawn is not necessarily a good idea. Unless, of course, it just opens... You know what? I'll give it a go, because it might just immediately open the path for my castle just to smash through, because I'm not really playing chess. I'm playing some sort of weird adventure chess. So, obviously, you're going to take you. Fine. Understandable. But that's going to immediately just basically open the path for me to just say, screw you and screw absolutely all of you. Ah, but now they're probably willing to stay exactly where they are, because both of you are covering each other. Fine, but not for much longer. If I actually throw my bishop in this direction, one of you is going to have no choice but to actually move. Or at least I would think you would, except I'm just going to keep throwing bishops away. <laughs> because basically, screw bishops. Um, so you're now presumably going to take my bishop, that's absolutely fine. And I will take your knights. Basically, just throw everything away to keep the castle alive, because the castle can totally win this. This is not a problem. And now, that pawn can't move backwards to protect any of this. So now, pretty much, screw everything. This guy can just pretty much sweep the back row. No problem whatsoever. So, more forest fairies need to be freed, except this time, there's pools of... And I'm assuming that's supposed to be just, like, swamp or something? It's weird and wibbly, and you're not allowed to stand on it. Fine. You can, however, go over the top of it. You just can't stop on it. Fine, okay. Uh, so, in which case, probably best to just pretty much get the castle into the action and start smashing some stuff, really. It probably works pretty well. So, yeah, head forward, smash that. Let's see what the enemy's planning to do. The enemy is vaguely going on the... Well, actually, I'm not really sure what they're doing, because now you're a little bit on the bone side, because now I've got a really easy pick-off of one of your knights right here. Aha, uh -huh. understandable, you've moved into a defensive position to protect each other. That's fine. Now, pretty much those guys are just immobilised for the time being. So now I can basically start doing tricks with everything else. So you can just come over here and start smashing you. What are you going to do? You're vaguely coming in this direction, but not doing much right now. You can come over here and smash this one. You're safe for the time being. And actually, I can do exactly what I've been... Ooh! Well, that's not a bad move. Well done. So now, yeah, you've actually got this under threat. So I have to be the one to abandon this here stalemate. Uh, and I can't move over here because you're threatening that space. So I can't just clear out you. If I was willing to... No, basically, any time I say... Oh, if I was willing to abandon the castle. No, never abandon the castle. The castle's the only bloody good thing we've got. Right, I'm just going to move one space up with the castle. Then I can threaten these things on both sides. And you probably won't bother moving because you two are nicely, snugly defending each other. Uh, let's see what you respond to that with. You decide to move over to here. 
Well, that's fine. That means I just get this crystal thing immediately. And I'm not actually under threat. So I've got no problem with that whatsoever. You now move back over here. And I could basically throw away a bishop to clear you out of the way. Which I'm not opposed to. Because at this point, that just opens the way for me to actually get to this crystal. And quite frankly, bishop for knight? Yeah, every time. Well, in normal chess, every time. Um, in this sort of weird fake chess, possibly not. I'm not sure. Uh, right, let's just go get this thing. And now I just need to make that final crystal go down. And it doesn't really matter how. Um, and actually, yeah, it's on black and my black bishop's still up and around. So this is not a problem at all. Now, next up, two pawns, four knights. I need to eliminate four creatures to proceed through the forest. Okay, same team as before. Sometimes, weirdly, you've actually got to keep an eye on your bishops. Because, like, I have previously been given, like, you know, both my bishops on white. Or both my bishops on black. Which is, you know, unexpected. Now, actually, I think I've got a free pick-off right here. Well, when I say free pick-off, I'd be sacrificing a bishop straight away. You'd then come over to here... I could then pretty much immediately throw my castle forward, and then there'd be no coverage for him. Eh, screw it, give it a go. <laughs> if they don't take the bait, then I've got to run at this guy, so they've got to respond by moving you to here, surely. Yeah, that's fine. And then you can just basically clear out you, and then they've basically just got to start running. So you basically... Okay, that was really stupid. That was incredibly stupid. Well done. You just handed over a knight to me for no reason. And now you're going to start moving forward for no good reason at all. Marvellous. Uh, what do I need to do with you? Honestly, I can just basically... I'm just going to come... Oh, that's technically blocked. I'm just going to move here. See what you do next, really. We're not in a hurry because those are pawns. Uh, you're hopefully going to get out of the way. Yes, you are. But you're kind of struggling a little bit here. Uh, okay. Let's just start moving... Yeah, let's also just threaten you again with this here, Bishop. Actually, I should probably just take out the pawns. The pawns are going to be much, much easier to take out because, you know, they're pawns. Uh, so, you two here. You two, yeah. At this point, if I just move the castle to here, threatens this here pawn, not under threat himself, and the only thing the pawn could do is move forward to one space, and that would immediately move him into knight range. So that means that's victory in two. Uh, I'm not sure there's anything you can really do to stop me. Uh, no, you're not even bothering to try and protect that pawn. Over here, smash into you, job done. There we go. Only good, however, I could have done it faster. Ooh, and I've made it to the heart of the forest. Well, it would rather appear that there might just be a boss waiting for me at the top beyond some little sub-challenges. Ah, here's an interesting one. I've now actually got a physical time limit. Five minutes to break through the pawn line. Those are bishops and those are knights back. Yep, let's make this happen in that case, I suppose. Uh, okay. What's the best way to do this? Let's just start basically, yeah. They've got a full pawn line. I've got no pawns at all. So, what are they going to do? They're going to start making some openings. This is going to be interesting. Let's just move my bishops out to the side. So, if they start moving these pawns around too much, as a result... Yeah, this is this is going to be very, very interesting indeed, actually. Uh, okay, let's just basically get everything aggressively moving forward. Obviously, I need to protect the, the castle. He's going to be the one doing the heavy lifting. But, if I move you to here... They've got no choice but to move one of these guys forward for defence, unless they're stupid. And they're not stupid, but they are, however, threatening... Ooh. Okay, now they're threatening a bishop, and I've kind of got to pull you back, which is irritating. But no matter. That's fine, because the bishop can also threaten this piece. What do you plan to do now? That's... Hmm. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start throwing away some pieces really early for the sake of making the breakthrough. Because I think my castle can wrap this up very quickly. Because you'll obviously take this bishop now. Or you won't because you're not very bright. Okay, well I guess I'll just make this opening right here then. Uh, now their bishop will presumably now swing in and take mine. Yeah, understandable and... No, instead she's going to try and block my way forward. Which is stupid, because that means I can just take her and no one's guarding that space. So, any plan now? 
Your stupid plan doesn't seem to have worked very well, actually. I seem to have just basically punched straight through with a castle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for a chess game, I would kind of be hoping for slightly better chess AI, to be honest. That was uh, some interesting decision-making from their side. I mean, not terrible pawn movement, but... Yeah, the bishops was just odd. And another timed mission. This time, it's break free all of the forest fairies again. Going up against two bishops, two knights. Okay, have I got any pickoffs immediately? Yes, I do, but it would immediately cause me to, like, you know, die. So probably don't do that. Uh, right, let's just move you into position to start clearing out some of these bastards. Uh, you actually... Okay, this is going to be a bit more tricky. A bit more tricky than we've seen before. And, yeah, you're on black, you're on white. Let's just start moving... Let's just start moving you forward. Let's just start getting some people moving forward here. Let's see what they want to do next. So they're just moving back in that direction. You've just accidentally helped me because now, or rather, oh no, I don't have to have a run at that one. Uh, yeah, you're covering this one and you are, mm, if I go to here, I'd sacrifice my knights, but I'd take out one of their knights. Ah, but they actually got double coverage of that space, so that would not be a clever idea. Uh, instead, can't go there to threaten... Oh, dear. Let's just move you to here and start being ready to do a massive trade. Because I'm up for a massive trade as long as at the end of it, I've actually still got my castle alive. That's probably not a terrible idea. Uh, so, in which case, you move over here and smash this. Uh, they will send one of their knights in to claim me. That's fine. I will send one of my knights in to claim that knight. They'll send their second knight in to claim my knight. Or they won't bother, which then, ah, because they're threatening this. So if I then basically take this, they'll take my castle. And the castle is the one thing that absolutely must not die under any circumstances. So you just basically move back one space, because screw you, you're a black bishop and bishops are the worst. Now you'll probably... Okay, or just don't bother. Or just don't bother taking the knight I actually sacrificed to you. I literally sacrificed that piece. But okay, I guess you didn't want it. So that's that's cool. That's fine. Uh, you've still got your bishops, but bishops are useless. Bishops are so cocking useless, it's amazing. Uh, right, now, let's actually just start moving some stuff around here. I can't move you to there, because you're covering there. I can move you to here, to threaten this one. Yeah, that's fine. So, let's just get you over here, because right now you're on white spaces, so... That black bishop is useless. That was a weird move. Uh, may as well just take this. I've only got two minutes remaining at this point, but that's fine. We're just starting to clear this out. Uh, does this actually have any coverage right now? No, it does not. That does not have any coverage at all because it doesn't need it because that's a knight, John. That's, that's not how they work. Um, but actually, this is now not covered, is it? No, because we forced you back. Uh, so we may as well just take that at this point. And if you try and get out the way, that opens up this. Uh, you're not going to bother. Except, ah, you're not going to bother because you're covering that. Uh, so... Right now, let's start getting some stuff into position here. You can't actually help that much here. You're covering you. You're covering here. Okay, I need to basically get around you. That's fine. Let's just move you to here. And then we can threaten that. What have you got to cover that at this point? Literally nothing. So smash into that. This should not be difficult to do at this point. Now I can just basically send the castle over here and clear out the last one. Yeah, I'm wasting your time with that bishop up there. Doesn't help. Except for the fact that, oh bloody hell. Right, okay. I need to go up to the top to stop any trouble happening. But this is fine. If I just basically head up to A8, you're not going to have any coverage for that. You've got nothing to help out with that at all. Uh, so now just head up to A8, unless he literally basically sacrifices himself in the way. Yep, you got nothing. Bye. Did it with a minute to spare. That's, that was a little bit more interesting. They're certainly getting a bit harder, lovely. Uh, right, keep on moving up. I want to see what that giant golem at the top's all about. And I don't have to win, I just need to actually reach the enemy line. Fine. So that is actually quite manageable. <laughs> In fact, quite frankly, I might just be able to throw my castle straight at that and make that happen immediately. Uh, if anything, my bishops are actually getting in the cocking way, uh, which is just always welcome. 
Uh, right, let's get you over to... Yeah, I can just basically throw you forward over here. Screw it. Let's just see what happens. I just want to get these guys out of the way. Uh, let's see what you're planning to do in response. You're going to try and threaten me like that, are you? Hmm. Quite frankly, I'm pretty happy to just let you do that because I could just basically take one of your knights and just basically start sweeping up here. Uh, yeah, going over to this side and then basically going boom, boom. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to see if I can make that work. Uh, if you want to take that one, you go right the flip ahead. Yeah, you've taken my bishop. Oh, no, not my bishop. Uh, and now I can just basically do... Ah, you're covering... You're covering to there. So I need to move one step further back and then over to here. And then basically I should just be able to push straight through, I think. Uh, what are you planning to do next? And the answer is, yeah, head over there. That's fine. You, you go right flipping ahead. Alright, so I can just come over here at this point and then just basically start punching straight through. You go forward one space. Ah, not so bad. Not bad at all. So you're now blocking that guy. Uh, and... Right, it's going to take some fiddliness to get you sorted out. Right, well, let's just move the knight forward and see what the knight can start doing. I just need that. That was a good move by that pawn to block that. You're moving over here. You're threatening this bishop, which is... Actually, 100% fine, because now the knight can just do the job. Uh, because you can't threaten that, you can't threaten that, you can't threaten that. Yeah, that's victory. Uh, because nothing can threaten that knight, and the knight can just basically get into the rear corner. So, he's probably going to prioritise taking... Wait, what did he just do? Did you just... Why would you have done that? Aha, uh -huh. and we've actually got ourselves an enemy queen on this occasion. Marvellous. Ah, but she's not actually an enemy, she's just been captured. So take her back, presumably the forest folk fall in line, this world's done, diddly diddly day. And we've only got, oh, two minutes to do it on this occasion. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Guess what my plan is? Because my plan involves basically murdering everything with a castle. Uh, right, so let's just get you, let's just get you moving forward here. Let's see what your interest is right now. Yeah, just get you round to here. Just screw it. Get them round the side. Just get the castle in position and just start getting up there. All right, it's going to be fine. Um, so, can't go to there because of the knight's coverage or here because of the knight's coverage. Oh, okay. Not terrible positioning, I'll give you. Uh, fine. So, basically, my plan is... Let's just quickly... Okay, head over to here. That won't help me much. Okay, screw it. Just let's start making some quick... That was the wrong... Sh okay, that was... No, I need to retry. Sorry, I meant to go to this. Yeah, fine. No, no, retry, retry. That wasn't right. Okay. I'm just going to basically try and just force my own castle because that seems to work pretty well. Right, two minutes to go. Castle moves off to one side. I'm just going to move him up to here and then just basically bring him along the line. We'll probably be able to find a way in somewhere. So you basically just move up to here. That's fine. What's your next move here? You're just moving forward. One. You move over to... Here is fine for the time being. That's okay. Now, I've got to be careful here. What are you planning to move next? Have you just... You haven't quite helped me yet. But if I just move... Hmm. I'm going to need slightly more than what I've got to wrap this up, unfortunately. Yes. Uh, but that's okay. I basically need to clear out one of these bastards. Okay. Um, but now these guys... Are... Okay, let's just... Clear you out of the way and just start basically pushing forward a bit. Oh, you've got a clear run at the... Oh, that's that's more of a concern. Right, well, this has all gone wrong. Uh, well, I can take you at least. Well, I've got one minute to try and salvage this. <laughs> when I say salvage this... Oh, yeah, it's happened. I've got two flipping black bishops, which actually on this occasion is actually quite useful. Uh, because now I can move you two here and either take that guy... Or he'll just stand there and basically accept it because it's fine for him. Yeah, okay. So in which case, move you two here. Let's actually have the backup ready to go in here. What's your next move? You're still covering that guy. Okay, fine. In which case, just move in. Take that. 30 seconds. That should open up a path, hopefully, for my last bishop to do the job here. Uh, because my last bishop can... Ah, you're covering that space. That's very irritating. Uh, okay, uh, 19 seconds. I don't think I can make this work. Unless you're about to make a really stupid move, because the move you're in is... Okay, interesting, interesting. Not quite... 8 seconds, come on, come on, come on. Someone make a really cocky, stupid move. Make a really cocky, stupid move. No, they're not going to. Alright, fair enough. They launched a reasonable defense there. Let's try that again. 
Right, let's just get the bishops out to either side and start just knackering anything that moves here. Uh, so you are immediately threatening my cocking bishops, because of course you are. Uh, not helpful, actually. <laughs> oh dear. Right, fall back just a tiny bit here, because that, that's not a good start. Well, that's 20 seconds bloody wasted. You're actually moving out of position immediately, which works for me. And don't forget, yeah, you've got two black bishops, which is really weird, but there we flipping are. Uh, let's just get the knight starting to move forward here. When the time is right, just basically fling the flipping castle forward. If I could just basically take out this one pawn, the castle from his starting position can basically just go kabloom! And then pretty much he's okay, aside from the fact that person's blocking there, which is a little bit on the irritating side. And you've got really annoyingly good defense around here, just for the time being. Right, what else have you got? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Someone do something stupid and make an opening here. Uh, let's move you round to... Actually, if I was to sacrifice to this guy, that might theoretically work. Um, he is not terrible. Uh, let's see what you got there. That way, at least I can start getting some of you bastards out of the way. Yeah, you're now just starting to push forward. Screw it. I'm wanting to sacrifice a bishop to get one of your knights done. Because that is potentially quite useful. And actually, oh, there's a line straight up the middle. Potentially, if I could just basically, yeah, just get everything out of the way. Get everything out of the way. Get everything out of the way. Just sacrifice everything to give this guy a path forward. Because if now he just comes over here, please don't protect him. Are you going to be clever enough to try and protect him? Irritatingly, you're going to move forward. Okay, but now I just need to do... Oh, I've got 14 seconds. Okay, I need to... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take that. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that's fine. Now, you just do literally anything. Come on, I can actually win this now. Come on, 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 come on. And two seconds. One. Have I technically won? Yes. One. With half a second to go. Marvellous. Well done. And here we go, we got a proper game of chess going on here, so I need to defeat Goliath, basically the Goliath, uh, in order to liberate Fid and save the fairies. Marvellous. So, anything particular here, or am I literally just- I think we're actually just playing chess here. Great! So, my bishops are actually on white and black, I've got one knight, I've actually got a queen, and I've actually picked up a pawn line for once, and you guys do not have a pawn line instead, you've just got, yeah, four bishops and two knights. Okay, well that works for me, because I can't see well, aside from the fact that, oh dear, aside from the fact that we're hemmed in and immediately liable to be attacked from all sides, ooh, well this is going to be interesting, okay, if I could provide some cover, right, I'm just going to provide some cover against the bishops. Because if I can provide some cover against the bishops right here, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I don't care. I think I can just basically get around the back of you here. And, oh, no, I can't because the... Oh, dear, this is... This is interesting. Right flipping here. There's flipping bishops everywhere, and they're actually quite bloody dangerous. Right, sacrifice that knight. That... Bishop over here can only do so much. I'm protected by that pawn. Now I can basically just start wiping up the rear, aside from the fact you've just done a fairly good defensive move there. This queen needs to get out and about because, yeah, she is obviously powerful, and a queen and a rook together can pretty much do anything broadly. You're threatening this guy. I need to get you round to screw. It. Let's just get you out of dodge because there you're not actually under threat for the time being. This is a very unusual game of chess. You're backing off. Okay, that works for me, because now I've got a run at both of you, except you've got coverage from the knight, so you'll probably just take advantage of that, to be honest. But it's not a terrible starting point. I can't be up there because of that. Fine, let's just move you into an offensive position over here and start being able to threaten those bishops. And, ah, okay, not bad. That's a good move. Uh, okay. What are we going to do about all this madness? Uh, you could just move one up and start threatening a few bits and pieces. Ah, but then they might just basically leave that there because they know I won't take a knight and sacrifice my castle to do it. Uh, so in which case, that space is still protected by you, unfortunately, and actually protected by you as well. Let's just move you up here and just see what happens next. What's your next move? What are you interested in doing? Because what I've really got to do is just get the queen out. Uh, now I could just actually, yeah, this wouldn't be terrible, to be honest. I'm just going to move you two forward, and let's see what you've got to do about that. Ah, 
You had a run at the night. Fine. And now you've got more of a run at the pawn. But that's fine. Let's just start taking some stuff out here. Clearing out some of these folks. You're going to take out you. That has now opened up. What does that allow me to do? If I were to take you, you'd take that in return. So that just doesn't fly. Okay, but actually, my pawn's got a shot over here. But if I take that shot, you'll take the castle. So the castle basically has to get out of here at this point. There's not much he can do. He just has to back off. Uh, in fact, actually, this is pretty much one of the only safe spots, either here or here, because A2 is threatened by that bishop. Uh, in fact, actually, A... No, you are threatening uh, B1. Uh, yeah, fine. A3 is probably one of the very few safe spaces you can actually bloody move to, because you understandably have realised that's a bit of a threat. You're naffing off, which is good. Um, who can provide cover to who here? You're covering you. Hmm, not that helpful. I could just move you forward one just to basically keep putting a bit of pressure on you, see where you decide to go next. Uh, if I move you forward, you're currently protected by the queen. Nothing protects you if I move you forward one more, so the bishop will just kill you. But it would, however, let my castle get to the other side of the board. Let's just move you forward one, see where that goes. Uh, what do you want to do at this point? You've decided you want to come over here and threaten either a pawn or the queen. Now, that kind of works for me, because that forces me to move over to here. And that way, the knight's only got a run at a pawn, and the pawn's covered by a bishop anyway, so that's a fair trade. And if you do move in any way, then I basically have a good run at your bishop with my queen. My queen's free. Yeah, this seems to work pretty nicely. What are you planning to do now, exactly? You're moving over here. Ah, you're covered by you. Irritating. Uh, but if I just move you over to... At this point, I can just move you back over to here. And if you move back over here to do the original block that we had last time, then you're kind of screwed because then my queen can start causing all sorts of havoc. So this here, that's not a bad spot. Let's see where this leads. So what are you planning to do to that? You're now moving forward one fairly useless space. Okay, and the reason is, aha, because the queen is, yeah, sorry, no, your bishop is covering this thing here. I can move forward up one to force you to move. If I force you to move, then that opens up, it doesn't open up much. Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, this is getting interesting. There's so many cocking bishops. Okay, nothing's seriously under threat right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically move this pawn up a little bit. And that's to open up a way for my queen to get out to the side. So if I can basically have my queen moving freely along this column and my castle moving freely along this column, that probably works pretty well. Now this guy, of course, can take that, but you'll still be covered by the other pawn for the time being. So what's your move at this point? You just want to basically get in there. Why do you want to get in there in particular? That's interesting, because that doesn't open up any opportunities I don't think you already had. Unless you're kind of planning to make something happen on this side towards the castle. But at this point, yeah, moving you way out here doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world. If I could just get them surrounded, I feel like that works. And thanks to the fact this guy's here, you're also blocking this guy, so my queen's basically free to make a run for it. So, let's see what you've got planned next here. So, yeah, obviously, you're now trying to put some pressure on my castle. Understandable. Uh, and you're still threatening you, so I can't take you. Okay, what's a safe spot for you to move into? This would probably not be terrible. I've got a fair few options around here. Yeah, that would probably be not bad at all, actually. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that works pretty well. Uh, so, Castle Moves there threatens both of her bishops. Now, obviously, she makes her bishops actually start defending each other. But now, my queen starts coming up on the outside. And now, it should start falling apart for you pretty bloody quickly. Now, what's the right angle to go for here? Because... Right now, yeah, that's just a defensive move she's just taken. Right now, nothing is threatening that. If I move this up to here... Nothing right now is protecting you. 
So, this strikes me as the most sensible move. Because if I could just start picking off the bishops one by one, now that I've got the castle and the queen both free... Okay, so he's basically now challenging... Yeah, he's basically just trying to take that out. But with my free queen, I might actually be willing to sacrifice the castle, just even though I was saying that was a terrible idea. Because if I basically just take this, nothing takes me. He takes the castle, I basically get to move... Ah, I don't actually get anything at that point. At that point, nothing comes to me because, yeah, everything else is covering each other. Thanks to the irritatingly large number of bishops, yeah, they've got good coverage. So if I move to here, I'm under threat from this bishop. Here, I'm not actually contributing anything and I'm under threat from this bishop. Here, I'm under threat from that knight. Here, I'm under threat from this knight. Here, I'm under threat from this bishop. And here, I am under threat from this knight. <laughs> So we're starting to get into the situation where there are very few safe spaces left for me. Yes. I might actually need to trade at some point. Except the only trade that I could do other than that would be to move you to here. Yeah, if I was to take this piece, for example. then as a result, yeah, basically he could take with either of those two. Here or here. And that wouldn't help me very much. Or I come, I could come right down to the bottom, which would be a bit of a shame. But at that point, it might give me a free run at you. Although possibly this thing will start fleeing. It's a shame I can't actually put this thing under pressure. Uh, but I don't see an option. In fact, there's literally one spot on the board. I think I can move the castle to keep it safe, which is a one, which is actually advantageous because it also covers my bishop on d1. So, go on then. You move down here. We're backing off for the time being. If you decide to take... Okay. I think that's pretty stupid on your part. Because then you're just trading one of your knights away for one of my bishops. And also, conveniently, giving me a nice big lineup against your bishops here. I think this is where it's going to start falling apart for you. So. So, 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 so. At this point, what's the best way to make this all work? Can't just move my queen in because the knight is covered by you. Can't just move my queen closer. Could move, yeah, I could move the queen to here to threaten you. But again, you're covered by you because there's two bloody white bishops, which feels so wrong. Probably best just now that we've actually taken out that knight, just move this guy back out to the edge and start looking for an opportunity here. Now, what's your move? You're going to move down to here. Okay. The piece that is not currently covered is the Black Bishop. The Black Bishop is harder to cover because there's only one of them. You're just vaguely bumbling around here, not currently actually threatening anything directly. So probably the best thing I can do is I can't move you to here because of coverage from the knight. Move you to here and just start laying down some pressure on the Black Bishop, seeing if we can just start basically chasing her off, because she's got to, yeah, flee or otherwise seek some form of coverage. Fine. And now slowly just start looking for the openings here. Can't bring you up to a six because of you. Can bring you over here though. Yeah, let's just start bringing you over here and see what we can do. Shame the Queen's not there because the Queen would have actually been able to do some better stuff there with diagonals, but, uh, no worries. You know, the game hasn't actually specifically said just crack open the crystal fairy things to win. But they are there and now I'm wondering whether that's actually the objective. Because all it's saying is defeat Goliath. Now, I'm not actually sure how releasing fairies would defeat Goliath. But they are there. Normally when they're there, that means break them open to win. So possibly I'm not supposed to be actually winning this game of chess. I'm just supposed to be breaking open the things. Which my queen could totally do at any point. Well, nothing's actually covering this crystal right now, so let's see what bloody happens. Is that actually victory? Right, that was the objective all along. Except now I actually have to take on this guy. One-on-one, -on -one, apparently, because he decided to get rid of his bishops. Which is a shame, because they were doing a good job. Oh, no, now I need to... Okay, now everything's just weird. Yeah, it's the same troops. It's just I did need to take out the fairies, and I'm guessing I need to do it again. And also, 
what do you actually do, if anything? Do you actually have any moves available to you? Because if you don't, and it doesn't like you do, it might actually be fairly simple to basically just get the queen back over here somewhere and just basically slide her in and smash these two fairies, which to my mind should blatantly be the plan at this point. Yeah, screw it. Let's just see how this goes. Deploy the queen, see how you decide to respond to that. And your job is, yep, fine, understandable. You're going to try and protect all of these lads. Uh, I should be able to find a way in, though. Uh, not least as no one's actually covering you right now. So if I just move to literally here, because you're actually blocking your own guys from helping you, which is, uh, yeah, kind of unfortunate. You decide to move way over there and are only threatening one pawn. Nothing's actually protecting you, is it? No, nothing is. So let's actually clear you out of the way right now. And the Fairy Queen can pretty much just, yeah, storm this place at this point. Because what are you planning to... Cock, didn't notice you there. Well, that's fine. I've got a new better plan, which is I can do the exact same bloody thing, except with my castle. Just like last time. Ignore the fact I just threw away my queen. Ignore that. That didn't happen. You didn't see that. Uh, right, okay. Now we can basically just get you round the back here. And uh, good luck dealing with this. Because you seem very bad at dealing with this. So now basically I can just basically smash this. And yeah. That is literally all I need to do. And hello. Excuse me. I, I need you to, to do a move again. I need you to... Why can you not do a move? There's... That's... Hello? Why can you not... Yeah, defeat Goliath. Use these things. Um, I'm trying. That's that's exactly the thing I was trying to do. Um, hello? The pause menu is also not working. Well, in that case, I guess, ladies and gentlemen, that's Chessaria. It's basically a chess challenge game with a cutesy little fancy aesthetic tied to it. I've had a pleasant time with it right up to the point where it stopped working, which is kind of unfortunate when games do that, but yeah... Literally no button is responding. I can't even pause the game. So tragically, despite the fact that I blatantly did just win, the game's not actually going to let me win. Yeah, it's all right. I don't know whether what I've just witnessed is representative of the product, whether I was just actually very unlucky or not. But yes, for me, it did just kind of break. But before that point, it was a fun enough little chess game. I mean, too often the chess games I play are basically just, this is chess. And now you can choose whether you want to play on a balcony, or a study, or a slightly more modern looking study. And all the effort seems to have gone into like, you know, making nice looking rooms. It's kind of fun for there to be a stupid fancy adventure tied to it, absolutely. But yeah, possibly it needs a tiny bit of patching before it's ready for prime time. Still, if you are super into your chess, it might still be of interest. Link in the description below, but I think we will leave things off here. I'm sure we will see another chess game at some point in the future. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Chessaria. Thank you very much, and goodbye. You know, I really hope we've agreed open borders with Japan, by the way. Otherwise, they have basically just invaded. I may have picked the wrong fight over- yep. And my sisters, of course, have got even more flipping high-tech, though mysteriously still completely dependent on, you know, an aqueduct. Now, I'm not saying your entire army is mostly already dead, but it kind of actually is.